Question 18. Given the formula here and two values correct to three significant figures and four significant figures. By considering bounds, work out the value of m to a suitable degree of accuracy. Give a reason for your answer. If we want to work out the value of m, we're going to need, the, need to know the upper and lower bounds of it. So, in order to know those, we need to know the bounds of these in order to calculate m. Let's look at s first. So, s is 3.47, correct to three significant figures. So the upper bound is going to be 3.475. And I've got a strictly less than symbol here, because if it was this value, it would round up to 3.48. For less than, the lower bound is 3.465. Similarly for t, we've got the value of t, which is 8.132. Upper bound is 8.1325, and we have the lower bound 8.1315. Now let's calculate the upper bound for m. If we want the upper bound of something that's a fraction, we need the largest value on the top and the smallest value on the bottom to create the largest number. So we want the upper bound of s, that's 3.475. We're taking the square root of that. And then we're going to divide by the lowest value of t, which is 8.1315. That gives us a value of 0 0.229248. Let's do the same, but for the lower bound of m. If you want the lower bound, we want to select the smallest number for the top of the fraction and the largest number for the bottom of the fraction. So the smallest value of s is this bound here, 3.4. And the largest value of t is this bound here, so 8.1325. Again, if we put that in the calculator, we get 0 0.22889. If we look at these both, both of these bounds, they both round to 0 0.229 to three significant figures. So that gives us our estimate for the actual value of m.